In this video, we're talking about a multi-day severe weather event that will bring big time winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes to many in the US. The Storm Prediction Center has already put out an enhanced risk with a 30% chance of significant damaging winds. Then we will track this storm system as it slides off to the east, causing even more problems in the deep south. Welcome back y'all, Ryan Hall here with the weather forecast. Boy, am I glad to be back home and here on YouTube. If you guys didn't know, the debut storm chase with the Storm Secret did not go as planned. I am okay. The truck can be fixed. It was an extremely unfortunate situation. I have a whole video already made up about it. I'm just waiting for when I can post it. But for now, let's just talk about the weather. All right, here's a big old look at the United States of America. And it's actually pretty active out here right now. On the East Coast, we've got a lot of showers out there, a lot of rain showers all the way up into Ohio, into the Northeast, all the way up in New York City. Now on the Southern part of this precipitation over here in Kentucky, Tennessee, down into Georgia, we're actually seeing a little bit of thunderstorm activity, especially here in Central Tennessee. We've got some flash flood warnings there. There. Uh, also here in Southern Kentucky, we just had a tornado warning that's been allowed to expire by now. But this is just the first wave of significant weather that we're going to experience today. In fact, a brand new line of severe thunderstorms is going to pop up over here in Oklahoma and Texas later today. And that's what's going to be the main topic of today's video. Let's start looking at that on the weather model. All right, we're taking a look at the old trusty HER model. Just to get an idea of what's gonna happen later on today with this severe weather, we're gonna start off today around 12 p.m. noon Eastern time, and let's put this simulated radar into motion. As you can see, we go all the way into three o'clock today. We're really not gonna see any new initiation of storms over here in Oklahoma and Texas where the main event's gonna start up, but we are seeing some increased convection over here in Iowa, Northern Missouri, moving into Illinois, and also some extra storms forming down here in Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Some of these storms could be severe. Uh, never underestimate a thunderstorm system in the deep south, guys. We've learned that this year. If you live down here, you might not have a significant chance of tornadoes or even you know severe weather today, but definitely be weather aware. Watch these storms. Make sure you have a good radar app. Same thing up here. These storms in Iowa uh, will probably be pretty good hail producers today. And just watch how this unfolds as we push this forward, we're going to start seeing some more storms form up here. Later this evening, around 8 o'clock, okay, uh, this is going to be 7 p.m. Central Time, right here in Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. This is exactly what you don't want to see, okay? We've got isolated supercell thunderstorms popping up here. These will be capable of producing tornadoes, okay? We've got a low pressure system back here, kicking up some warm, moist air. Got plenty of cold air behind it. You can see all the snow up here in the Rockies. We've got convective energy values off the charts. Look at this. We're five, 6,000 joules per kilogram down here uh, where these storms are going to fire off at. Uh, so these things are going to shoot up big time updrafts, huge hail possible, gorilla hail with these storms. Thankfully, it looks like our low level jet stream isn't going to be very intense today. So that's actually going to turn down uh, the tornado threat a little bit. However, if we can get those storms to pop up as isolated as what the HRRR is showing here, I do believe we are going to have some problems with some isolated tornadoes today. Here's a look at the significant tornado parameter right around the time uh, that these storms start popping up. Once again, southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, this area right here, I believe has the best chance of seeing tornadic activity today. Uh, there will still be a chance for tornadoes to pop up as these storms move off to the east, but as you're getting ready to see, they're going to turn into a linear mode. They're going to be a straight line of showers and thunderstorms, and whenever that happens, the tornado threat generally uh, decreases a little bit. So let's get back to our simulated radar. Once again, south and east of Oklahoma City, north of Dallas, west of the Fort Worth area, this is where we can see those storms to, to start firing off later on this evening. Once again, around 7 p.m. Central, uh, somewhere in that area, we're going to start seeing storms fire off, okay? And then as they move off to the east, they are quickly going to congeal into a quasi-linear convective system. And still at this point, 10 p.m. tonight, southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, there is still going to be a threat here for tornadoes, okay? So don't let your guard down. Also, we're focusing here, but we also got to watch this little line of storms up here too in Illinois. Let's rewind it back a little bit. And as you can see, uh, from 6 p.m. Uh, through 10 p.m. Eastern time, uh, that's where we're going to see this line of storms move through Illinois and also with this one because it's associated with another piece of energy that's uh, pulling up some more uh, warm air up this way a little bit of a stronger lower level jet stream up here there's also an isolated tornado threat with this too but mainly a hail threat uh, once again if you're in Illinois uh, in Indiana be on weather alert tonight because severe thunderstorms are moving in uh, back to the main story down here in southeastern Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. As we push this forward, once again, this turns into a big line of storms. Uh, 1 a.m. tonight, they're going to be working into the Arkansas 
Arkansas area, the southern portion of Missouri, okay, straight line damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour or higher are gonna be very common with this line of storms. Big time hail and isolated tornadoes will be possible during this time. Let's keep pushing it forward. This thing becomes a nasty squall line of thunderstorms right around the time it moves into eastern Missouri, eastern Arkansas, and the Memphis, Tennessee area, okay? Western Tennessee, western Kentucky. Watch out tonight, uh, 4, 5, 6 a.m. as some really strong thunderstorms are gonna be moving through. Uh, the tornado threat's still there, but it gets increasingly lower the further east we go with this line. Um, you can see the rotation of the low pressure system here. You can you can really see all the dynamics taking place. Warm air coming up this way. I uh, got cold air coming down on the backside, and this trough is just ejecting off to the northeast, really wreaking havoc here on the front end with that squall line of thunderstorms. So let's keep pushing it east. Uh, it looks to me like it's going to go through the Memphis area around 5 a.m. Eastern time, then eventually into the Nashville area around 8 a.m. But once we get into the early morning hours, as you can tell, it weakens pretty significantly. Uh, this part of the line will weaken a lot. It will try to spark back up here in eastern Kentucky as we get into the heating of the day, uh, but really our focus is now shifting back down here to the south and east. Uh, we've got some big time thunderstorms popping up in Alabama around 11 a.m. on Tuesday, May 4th, and we've got another uh, line of storms forming down here in Louisiana and Texas and Arkansas. Once again, this is going to be for tomorrow, which there is also an elevated risk for severe thunderstorms tomorrow according to the SPC. Uh, we've got that risk for tornadoes and hail and wind here as well. So let's track this on out okay keep your eye on central mississippi central alabama right here i always talk about this because it's important to me uh, the the most overlooked portion of severe weather outbreaks is the flash flooding and flash flooding is going to be a big problem here in central mississippi central alabama uh, as these big thunderstorms keep popping up and moving over the same areas over and over again uh, so tomorrow tuesday may 4th be on the lookout if you live in a flood prone area be ready for those creeks and streams to rise quickly as these thunderstorms are going to be dropping a bunch of rain. This is a product we don't normally look at, but this is the precipitable water in the atmosphere. And long story short, I don't want to go in too much detail here, but down here where you see these yellows and reds, there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. And whenever you get a thunderstorm, it's going to take advantage of that and it's going to dump it all in your backyard. So get ready for that. Also tomorrow between noon and 5 p.m., watch out in this area for, you know, this little quasi-linear convective system of storms to refire up and cause some wind damage, maybe some isolated hail problems as as they move through Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia. Uh, really nothing crazy to worry about with that. Then once again, the main focus is going to be down here in Mississippi and Alabama as another uh, big time squall line of thunderstorms is moving through, causing uh, some big time wind problems as they move through Southern Mississippi and Southern Alabama. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much as far out as we can get right now. Uh, here we are Wednesday, May 5th at 8 a.m. Eastern and everything is kind of calming down. Uh, once again, here's a look at the rainfall totals over the next 48 hours. We've got some areas down here in the south that are going to see uh, more than five or six inches of rain in a very short period of time. There's also a really interesting area here from the border of Missouri and Arkansas all the way through the border of Kentucky and Tennessee that really needs to watch out as well uh, for the possibility for some flash flooding. So please be on extra alert for that flash flooding. A lot of these threats, the, the flooding, the tornadoes, the high winds, uh, a lot of this is going to happen during the overnight periods. Okay, So it's important that you have some way Way of getting warnings tonight, okay? Uh, make sure you have a NOAA weather radio. Uh, you can get one online. I've got a link in the description, or you can probably go to your local Target and get one. That's totally fine. Also, you can turn on weather alerts on your phone. I think there's actually a little bit more control with that if you have an, an Android over an iPhone. Uh, and also, if things start popping off this evening, I am back, guys. I'm here in this chair. In fact, I don't have a vehicle, so I can't go anywhere. <laughs> so if things start going crazy uh, with the severe weather warnings with the tornado warnings and stuff i am going to be going live so uh, feel free to tune in so you can get all the latest updates via that that's all the weather talk i have for you today i'll have a much more detailed uh, video tomorrow i'm just getting back in the swing of things here uh, i appreciate you guys being patient with me and i especially appreciate all the love and support i've really it's meant a lot to me over the past couple of days. And uh, yeah, all right, I'm gonna edit this video, upload it to YouTube, and start monitoring this severe weather. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.